The Snowball, Warren Buffett and the Business of Life by Alice Schroeder. This is the Warren Buffett biography. I have an entire video about the importance and power of biographies, which you can find in the description below. He warned my energy is rather serious, but nonetheless close to as insightful as these newer videos. Making videos is like a learning experience. You learn a lot about your self-confidence because when I look into this lens, I don't see a little piece of technology. It's deeper than that. I kind of see the universe and I see it looking right back at me. So this is the Warren Buffett biography and it tells the long story of this now 86, 87 year old man with a net worth of what, like $84 billion? He's the third richest person on the planet behind Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. People call Buffett the Omaha Oracle. And as long as I heard about the way he thinks and the way people would crowd around him talking about stocks with such an almost hypnotic sort of mesmerizing way, their act of giving him this nickname only made sense. Also to call him or the company that he's bought that's now worth like several hundreds of billions of dollars, it's a holding company called Berkshire Hathaway. To call him or Berkshire Hathaway the snowball makes sense. Because I mean, to me, it was like self-explanatory, you throw this snowball down this avalanche and it grows and grows. It's a snowball effect. That's how I've observed these companies throughout the biographies of their owners. That's how the followings of musicians and artists and influencers and shit, that's how they grow. It will continue to stay this way. Buffett was hyper-focused on his mission, a rather holy one the author describes it in the eyes of his wife Susie, who was probably the most genuine housewife I'd ever heard of in one of these books. He never really paid attention to his kids. I mean, he did, but he was so absorbed in his own work that it was all he seemed to think about. It was interesting to me how many things had to happen with his family and work till the two almost combined in a way. It's almost like a biography of Buffett and his own inner circle and its pieces, their drifts in and out throughout the years. It seems a lot of his business decisions, predictions, and actions were just extremely calculated throughout his grasp of probability. He was just super into probability and his emotional frame was always very solid in a way, but complex. Like he loves to please people and individuals. He doesn't hold grudges, but he will fucking clasp onto someone when he first becomes friends with them, at least. The deeper you get into the book, as you could probably predict, the more it snowballs. Like, really snowballs. I mean, you actually begin to ask yourself, what the fuck? How big does this get? Can these moves, these ventures, can they get any bigger? Then people start dying, many L's are faced, and many victories are emphasized and embraced. He was quite the master of compartmentalization. I look up to people like that, I don't know about you. He said, at some point, I dream a lot, and the dreams could be disturbing. I have a multiplex going on in there. It's a full-time occupation. His fear was more personal than anything. His lack of fear was more monetary than anything. He put everything to the side to study, and spend all his time I'm learning about money, business, its history, what it has to do with politics, everything in between and everything beyond. There's the love for money and there's the way Warren Buffett feels about it. He's on the list of people I find myself thinking about consciously at some random point in any given day. I'm very grateful that at almost 87, he's still alive with us on this planet. The Snowball, Warren Buffett Biography by Alice Schroeder. If you guys want to check out this book, there's a link in the description. Maybe check it out and read the reviews.